So you just received your very first MetaQuest headset and you have a gaming PC or laptop or you are looking for a way to expand your gaming experience. That's what I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna show you two different ways to play PC VR wirelessly. The first is gonna be through Steam Link, which is an app you can get directly through MetaQuest. The second is Virtual Desktop. You also will need to get that app directly from MetaQuest, but then there's another step we're gonna take and I'll show you that. So let's go ahead and jump into the headset and I will show you the very first app you'll need. The first one I'm gonna show you is Steam Link. Super easy. Um, I will have price points, everything you need down in the description. You just install it, <laughs> that's it, and go in. Super duper easy and it should show up with your computer here hit connect that's it it's going to bring you here into your steam home that's it this is my steam home welcome to my steam home <laughs> these are the only games i have installed right now i have quite a few games but these are the only ones i've installed right now so that's it and then you just launch the game and you go into the game and you play the game let's go into the virtual desktop app now once you have installed the streamer app from this website that I'll leave a link to, go ahead and open it up. So it's gonna have you set up your username for Meta, and then you wanna head over to Options tab. So for Options, the codec, so I have the AV1 because I have a Quest 3 and a Quest 3S. If you are still using a Quest 2, go ahead and choose H264. Um, I'm gonna keep it on that. So also for OpenXR runtime, put it on VDXR. This way you do not have to have the Oculus app open when you head into the game. That's it. Um, so allow remote connections. Um, you do not need to keep automatically adjust bitrate. I do not have a dedicated router, but my router is in the same room and I do connect it through ethernet and it really doesn't affect anything. If it does affect anything, I would just uncheck it or just try it unchecked. And then if it, if you, if it's unstable, then go ahead and check it. Um, start with windows, start minimized in tray, use touch input. So everything else though can stay as the default and that's it. That's all you have to do to set up for your PC. Now we're going to head into the headset and I'll show you how to set it up in there. For the virtual desktop version, make sure you download the app from the MetaQuest store. That's, that's the one you want. Do not download the virtual desktop from Steam. Download it from here. Again, I will leave a link and a price point for you in the description. So let's head in and we're connected. It's that easy. Let's go into all right, so here you want to launch your games from this tab so that they work the best. Hello, <laughs> desktop. Uh, input, I have not changed anything. Settings, I have not changed anything um, for this part. So what I would do for streaming, I have mine on medium. I can actually go to high. Because I have a 4070, so let's move it to 90. Higher bit rate, increase image quality and latency. Let's keep mine, I, I guess that's where it wants to be. So let's just keep it there. Sharpening 75 is good. Show performance overlay, yes. Snapdragon, yes. Um, I haven't changed that. Automatic, I'm keeping that on automatic. Track controllers, um, increased color vibrance, show performance overlay. So this will show the overlay when I'm playing a PC VR game. Uh, VR pass-through environment. Uh, you can do this. You can do track hands. Um, I haven't because I, I don't play a lot of PC VR right now because I have my gaming laptop. It does really well, but I just I don't play enough. I should play more, yes. Each computer is different, so you want to play around. I would definitely just play around with the settings, see what works. It's super easy. So let's go into games real quick 
and it should show me the overlay. What do we want to play? See, it shows me my frame rate, latency, bit rate, everything. It shows me what geoforce I have, everything. Graphics quality, target frame rate. I guess this is good if I just want to test it. You know? It's good. So this is what it's doing right now. It's perfect. Right now it's fluctuating frames per second. That's fine. That is fine. But... It's actually running really well. I am impressed. Look at that. Oh, I'm right by my computer. Right by my... <laughs> right by my chair. This is gonna suck. I'm gonna move over. I'll probably move that down, because it's like right in my face. Hello. Hello, good sir. So, yeah. See? This is it. Great strike. Now finish it. Finish it. <laughs> That's it. That's all I'm going to show you guys. 